wanting to access the student handbook of Sacred Heart College, comply to the student contract, and give consent to data processing, here's how you can do it. Log in to your domain account issued by the IT office. Once you have accessed your Gmail or domain account, check your inbox if you have received the following files. A PDF copy of the student handbook, the consent form and guidelines on data processing of the Higher Education Department of Sacred Heart College. The student contract, if yes, download all three files. It is best to read the student handbook for your guidance and reference in accomplishing the student contract and the consent form on data processing. Fill up the necessary information being asked in your student contract and consent form on data processing. To attach your signature on these documents, take a photo of your signature using your cell phone or camera, then follow this process. The same procedure can be done in attaching the signature of your parent or guardian on the student contract and the consent form on data processing. Now, double-check all the information you have provided in the student contract and the consent form on data processing. Once finished checking, submit the student contract and the consent form on data processing by clicking the reply button and attach these two files. Then, send it back to Sacred Heart College by clicking the send button. Wanting to know how to process your ID online? Here's how. Go to the school website at www.shc.edu.ph and click my new normal option. Then click the ID application system. Type your student number and password. Then click Log In. Fill up the necessary information being asked. For your ID picture, be reminded of the following. Wear white blouse for female and white polo for male. Use white background. Photo should be from head to chest or half body. Then click the Click to Upload button to attach the ID picture. For your electronic signature, follow these steps. Get a white piece of paper. Use a black pen to write your signature. Take a picture of your signature. Then click the Click to Upload Signature File button. Once finished, click the Send to ID Production button. One week after, or upon notification from Sacred Heart College, your ID card may be claimed at the SHC Information Desk. The person whose name was given in the ID processing will be allowed to claim the student ID. It may be the parent or guardian whose name appears at the back of the student's ID card. The person to claim the student's ID card will have to present a valid ID 
to the person in charge of ID issuance. Basic requirements and decorum in the conduct of online classes. Before the face-to-face -face online instruction or video conference. School uniform for all students and appropriate decent attire for new students shall be observed at all times. Stable internet connection shall be checked and optimized by remaining as close as possible to the router or an area with the strongest signal. Students shall find a quiet indoor location to control ambient noise. Likewise, nice, plain, and work-appropriate background shall be provided. Teachers shall conduct online classes in the designated virtual rooms located at the senior high school building of the institution. To improve visualization of the students, the light source coming in front or behind the monitor or cell phone, instead from behind, shall be ensured. Appropriate positioning of the camera shall be done prior to the online class encounter, making sure that it is in a stable position and at an eye level. Testing of the microphone and video setting of the prescribed online platform shall be done before the scheduled online class. Supervision of parents or guardians or any adult member of the family is highly encouraged in the conduct of online classes or as a case may require. Always remember the school domain account and portal number, student number and password, issued by the school through the information technology personnel. The portal number is the only key that the student can use to enter and join the online class. Never share the portal number with anyone. Stealing or using the portal number of other students would mean application of disciplinary action as stated in the student handbook. During the face-to-face -face online instruction or video conferencing, Teachers and students are expected to join the online class at least 15 minutes before the scheduled call time. Video or camera shall be put on during the entire duration of the online class unless specified by the subject teacher to switch it off for visual presentation and other purposes. The default audio setting shall always be muted unless the student is recognized to speak. Unnecessary movements such as yawning, stretching, or wandering around the room shall be highly discouraged as this can distract the flow of the discussion. If inevitable, audio shall be muted or disabled. In sharing and participating in the discussion, the teacher shall be informed to speak by the raising of a hand or by sending a private message. The teacher shall acknowledge the student who desires to speak before doing so. Turn taking etiquette shall be observed at all times. When speaking, the student or teacher shall directly look at the camera rather than at the person in front of the screen. After the face-to-face -face online instruction or video conference. As soon as the online class or video conference is finished, everyone shall sign out or shall click the Leave the Meeting tab. Should there be post-online class, post-video conference questions, the concerned individual or student shall send them through a follow-up email, SMS, or by other messaging applications to the concerned subject teacher.